Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the, I'm sorry Toy Guys, I'm totally going to cheat here because this is a really hard to remember model name, T23HLBMIDZ, and for whatever reason this is in lowercase, so apparently that makes some kind of a difference. Don't worry about that. Worry about the part where this is the first sample of Acer's touchscreen 1080p IPS Windows 8 ready LCD monitor. This is extremely exciting and yes, first sample in all of North America. So I am like just super, super, whoops, stoked on, uh, on getting this thing opened up because this is what Windows 8 is all about to me. So for the gamers and the PC enthusiasts out there who are saying Windows 8 isn't for me because, you know, okay, there we go. I don't like the interface that shall not be referred to as Metro and, uh, you know, this and that. Um, Windows 8 is about changing the way we use our computers. And I haven't had as much experience with it as I'd like yet, partly because the devices don't really exist yet that will let you have a proper Windows 8 experience. So this is a huge step in the right direction. And now while everyone else is talking about their tablets or their notebooks or their all-in-one PCs, not everyone, especially us enthusiast gamers, wants any of those things. We want our gaming desktop to be uh, as good an experience as possible. So something like this, I think, can bridge the gap. Because instead of locking you into, you know, crummy graphics or a small form factor or whatever else, now we can actually take our proper gaming desktop and have that touchscreen, keyboard, mouse, hybrid experience Whoop, as long as I can figure out how this, uh, how this stand works. Ah, there we go. All right, there we go. So give me a second, I'm going to unpack all this stuff and then I'll show you all the accessories. So we start with the CD as well as the manual, which you may actually need given this is a touchscreen monitor, so you should probably download the latest from Acer if you can, but it's not the end of the world. Try that out. VGA cable, power cable for the power brick, which is also included, HDMI cable, and a DVI cable are included, so you can use either of those out of the box. I'd love to see more than just one cable included. BenQ is like, they're still including only a VGA cable with even some of their high-end monitors, which sort of drives me, drives me crazy. Well, not high-end, but like, you know, VA panels, right? So Acer includes three different video cables for you here. USB A to B cable. This is great because the monitor has a built-in three-port USB 3 hub and an audio pass-through cable. So I don't know if it has, I actually don't know if it has speakers on board, but let's go through the specs really quick as well. So here, you can just come in and look at this with me. So you got 1920 by 1080, yep. 250 nit brightness, which is actually not bad at all. Um, whatever, like one billion to one contrast ratio, whatever that works out to. Five millisecond grade to grade response time, which is pretty good for an IPS. Uh, 178 and 178 degree vertical and horizontal viewing angle, which is what you'd expect from an IPS. And let's see what else Acer has to say for themselves, because I really didn't cover this. This is all the same stuff we talked about already. Oh, 100 million to one adaptive contrast management. Uh, power savings, 10 points. Uh, oh, it's LED backlit. I should have mentioned that before. So full HD, LED backlit, 10 point multi-touch, touchscreen monitor. So let's have a look at the industrial design of it overall. So you've got a single piece of edge to edge glass that goes all the way down to here, which means that if you're doing any kinds of gestures that come in from off of the screen, you're not going to have the same problem that we had with these Ah, oh, these first generation touchscreen monitors as well as all-in-ones. So uh, if you guys have seen my Windows 8 consumer preview, uh, you'll see that the one we're using has this giant plastic bezel that makes it you kind of gotta like wedge your finger in there to swipe from off screen. It really doesn't work very well. This is going to be an outstanding experience. Speaking of the experience overall, the glass feels very nice. So it is glass, it's not, not any kind of composite plastic or anything cheesy like that. So it's a little bit cold to the touch, what you might expect. What you guys might know from, from your past experience is some pieces of glass tend to have a little bit more drag than others. This one actually feels very good. It's got a little bit of resistance, but not too much. So let's, uh, oh, this piece looks like it's a little bit separated, uh, but this is, just, this is more just for show. And this piece is plastic, and this piece is glass up here. On the side, you find the three USB 3.0 ports. One of these looks like it's just a charger, and the other two look like data, although I'm not 100% sure about that, having not fired it up yet. And then on the back, you see they've gone with a kind of a unique look to this. I, I like this stand. 
Um, it's unfortunately not height adjustable, but because of the design, it does have pretty ample to... Oh, no way. Does it lie down? It lies down very flat. Not quite flat, although that would have been really cool. You can probably... I wonder if you can... Uh, I wonder if you can actually remove it. It doesn't look like there's an obvious way to remove it, so it is intended to be used as a desktop monitor. However, if you... I wonder what you would do with it. It does have a vase mount, okay? So there's your four vase mounting holes, so you can position it wherever you want it ultimately, and use it however you want in its, uh, its touchscreen goodness. So let's come down here, and we've got... There's the USB in as well as VGA in, DVI in, HDMI in, no display port in, although it's really not the end of the world, guys. I'm not sure yet how the data is managed for the touchscreen interface. Sometimes it's passed through on the DVI, although I don't know if VGA has that capability. So it's possible the data is run through the USB 3. So that might be a mandatory connector, but I'll have to, uh, we'll still have to try this. We are gonna turn this baby on in a full NCIX Tech Tips episode featuring Windows 8, so very, very excited. Kensington locks over there. Sorry, I missed that before. And then you've also got your audio in as well as your DC power in. This piece right here has a, has a plastic uh, slider, like not, well, it's not a slider, but a plastic uh, protector so that you're not going to damage the arm and you can screw that on and off without much difficulty. I would like to play around with this arm a little bit more. No, no, it doesn't. No, no, that's on, that's on purpose. Um, Diesel's giving me sort of a look as if I'm like breaking it here, but I think that's intentional. That'll keep it from accidentally closing completely and then falling flat on you. So it's, it's a stopper. Um, so I think that pretty much covers it. I actually, oh, oh, there they are, there they are, sorry. There's your on-screen display buttons. So no touchscreen buttons, that sort of surprises me, although personally, I'm still, I'm still a tactile button guy when it comes to managing my monitors. The one exception being the, uh, the proximity sensitive BenQ buttons that they have on their 2420TX. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the 10-point multi-touch IPS Acer T23, T232HL LCD monitor. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. I learned something about manuals today. You should probably look at them once in a while. Check this out. So this piece does come out. That's what this piece of plastic is for. It's four screws. You just remove the plastic cover on the top. Oh, okay, there you go, just like that. And probably comes off there somehow. You remove those four screws and then you can put this, uh, this cover on. So that's how you can easily mount this to some kind of a mounting arm or whatever else you want to do. Very cool stuff.